raised button and alert dialog. Currently we are in section 2 and we are about to check out the 6th video of this section. So in this video we will see how to use a raised button and alert dialog. So firstly the raise button is basically a button with some elevation. And next we have the alert dialog which is basically a pop-up dialog to give user some message. So within our same application, let us continue coding further. So down below here, let us create a separate class for our flight booking button. So our intention for this video will be to add a button just below the image. So the button will act as a fourth element of our column, such as first element, second element, third element and our fourth element will be our button. On click of that button, we will show a alert dialog that your booking has been confirmed. So down below here, let us define a stateless widget of flight booking button. Override the build method. And from this method, let us retain a container object that will contain a raised button as a child. As a child, let us put the raised button in place. Now for this raise button, this on pressed is almost mandatory. Well, we will see to this later. But right now, let us define more properties of our button. Such as the color as deep orange. Then the child of the raise button will be a text. And as a value, I will pass book your flight. Now since we are using the raise button, so let us put some elevation as well such as 6.0 and finally as a fourth element after the flight image asset let us call our flight book button and then run the application so there we go we have just added a button that looks pretty dull now since we have defined the color of the button as deep orange but right now it is looking grayish just because on press of the button we should call a function that will further perform some action such as showing the alert dialog that your flight has been booked. But right now let us keep it as a blank function. Here we will define our action to be performed. Run the application again. So there we go our button is now quite visible. It is deep orange in color with a text in the center. Well right now we can do something better for our button such as applying some margin between these two widgets, this image and also this button. So within our container, let us put some margin, 30.0. And also, let us try to increase the width of the button and also the height of the button, that is the dimension of our button. So for that, I will modify my container width as 250.0 and height as 50.0. Perfect. Launch the application looks much better. Now if you notice we are using the raised button and here we have provided some elevation of 6.0 which means our button is raised 6.0 points from its background container. And you can see a deep shadow just beneath our button. It is just because of the elevation. Now let us try to beautify our text within our button. So for that here for this text let us assign some text style. And we know how to assign the text style by using the style attribute and call the text style widget. There we can assign some font size 20.0, color as white. We can even assign the font family such as railway. Now this font we have actually defined in our previous video within our pubspec.yml file down below here font family as railway and also assign the weight as 700. Looks perfect. Launch the application. Much better. Now currently if you click on the button or press the button, then we can see some ripple effect. But no action is being performed on press of the button. So for that, here, whenever the user click on the button, on pressed is actually executed. We simply execute this anonymous function where we will write our code. So from here, let us call a function. Let us call it book flight. And as a parameter, pass the context of the build context, which we are getting here as a parameter within the build function. And then end the statement with the help of semicolon 
and down below here, right after this build method, let us create this method, which accepts build context as a parameter. And now it is time to define our alert dialog. So I will define a var alert dialog equal to use alert dialog constructor. And then as a parameter, I will pass the title as text flight booked successfully. And as a description, which is our content, have a pleasant flight. Perfect. Now down below here, we have to show this dialog by using a special function of show dialog. So in Flutter, all the function names are quite simple. You just have to call the function and things will be in place. Let us define the context as the incoming context of build context. Perfect. And then define our builder. Which returns the alert dialog. Now this builder is basically a function handler. So we need to create a function that accepts a build context argument and returns a widget, which in our case, we are returning the alert dialog. Perfect. So things are now in place. And also what is build context? Well, this build context is basically being received within our stateless widget. Well, it simply implies the context in which a particular widget is being built. Fine. Like in Android, we have the context of the activity. In similar fashion, we have the context where we are building our widget. Now, if you run the application right now and click on the button, then this function will be executed, which is defined here, which in turn is simply going to create the alert dialog and then show the dialog. Run the application, click on the button. And there we go. This is our alert dialog flight booked successfully. Have a pleasant flight. Perfect. Now we can further optimize our code by using the fat arrow, not actually optimize, but actually clean up our code using the fat arrow and using the function expression. Perfect. And on the top here as well, in case of on pressed, we can use our fat arrow that is function expression. Looks great. And at any point of time, if you feel to reformat your code, then simply press Alt Command L or Alt Control L in case of Mac and Windows respectively. It will actually format all of your code. Perfect. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will see how to implement list view in our Flutter application.